everyone. Hope you're having a good week. So I'm going to go ahead and show you um, my haul from Burlington. There was a new store that opened up um, near our, the mall, and I think the, the grand opening is probably this weekend, but I did drop by there on Friday after I got my hair cut. So um, this store is a lot better stock than the one that's closer to my house, but then again, it is brand new, so of course they're going to want the store to be completely stocked. So let's go ahead and take everything out. Now there is some stuff here from Dollar Tree also that I'll go ahead and include. So I, I didn't get much. Um, I did find these in the um, section where they've got like the journals and stuff. It's This is the We Are Memory Keepers Stitch Happy Pen. It's a punch needle kit. So. Um, I don't know how to use the sewing machine. My mom has two. She's got a Singer. I think she, I think the other one is a Singer, but there is the one that she's got that she mainly uses is this like vintage um, Singer that she's had for more than I would say 40 years. It's the type of Singer, or rather the type of sewing machine that's made out of all, all the parts, everything is made out of metal. It's super heavy. It's not like the ones nowadays where everything is plastic and only the parts or some of the parts are made out of metal. So it's really heavy duty. I want to learn how to sew. I just haven't taken the time to learn yet. So I wanted to be able to, you know, do some stuff where it looks stitched, but um, I don't want to ruin her machine. So I figure I would try it with this. Um, so you would go ahead and you would stick it in this frame and then you would just punch it in. And um, yeah, so this was $9.99. I haven't seen this over at Tuesday morning yet, so I figured I might as well go ahead and pick it up. Now I did get another trimmer, like I need another one. I've got like how many? One, two, three, four, five, I think, five trimmers. But this one is tiny enough to fit inside of um, a planner case. Uh, let me show you. I've got here this uh, Happy Planner one that I bought from uh, Goodwill a couple months ago. That was two ninety nine, and um, you know it's pretty roomy compared to my um, Kipling pen case. This one does hold more. So as you can see, even if it was not in the case right here, it would still fit. So. Um, yeah. This whole case got wet. I had laid it inside the bag that I use to bring my stuff um, to work. And I usually have my 64 ounce jug, this behemoth right here, um, in it. And it was laying sideways and I didn't realize that I didn't screw the, the cap on properly. So while I was getting my hair cut, this thing was sitting in my car and getting completely soaked. 64 ounces of water all over it. Um, I didn't know until I basically brought my bag up to the clinic and started pulling stuff out and I was like, why is it wet? And then I realized, oh my God, it got, this whole thing got soaked through. Like I had um, stickers and pictures, pictures of my aunt that just passed. I had vintage pictures of her that I was gonna scan at work and they were all wet. See, look at this. Um, this is a sticker set that I got from Amazon a very long time ago and this whole thing got wet and I had to dry it with my heat gun. So you can see that now all the pages <laughs> are all warped. But that's okay because I can still use this. I'm just going to probably have to stick it underneath something to flatten it out. But yeah, even my planner, my weekly planner here got wet. Let's see, look at that. So anyways, um, yeah. I figured this will fit in there aside from, you know, bringing my pair of scissors, okay? So, in fact, while we're talking, while I'm talking here, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So, um, yeah, they had, what else did they have over at Burlington? They had a couple of other things, but um, from We Are Memory Keepers, they had um, that alphabet, um, punch board, but it was for the bigger one, unlike the mini one that I got from Tuesday morning last week. In fact, I don't remember how much it was, but I didn't really need it since I got the mini one, and I haven't even taken the mini one out yet. 
know. There we go. And it, the I can replace these easily. I might have to go and buy a pack, so at least I have one on hand. So that's not too bad. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, okay. let's see. Where is the stuff from Dollar Tree? Okay. So, I'd seen somebody post about these on Instagram, I believe. And um, Dollar Tree, just weird, randomly started carrying these black sticky notes. Now, I have black sticky notes, and that was when Post-It, um, I can't even think of the name, the name of the company, 3M, I guess, had um, sold the black ones. And I think I got mine on clearance, because, you know, I think back then, nobody was really going to buy black sticky notes. Well, um, as we are planners, we probably have, you know, um, milky colored pens, milky colored ink pens. So these would be perfect on them, you know, just something different. And hey, Halloween is coming up. So, you know, you can use these in your planner. I went ahead and picked up two. Now I read on that Instagram post that these are really popular and a lot of people are having a hard time trying to find them. I actually saw them, um, same day that I saw the post, I saw them over at one of my Dollar Tree. So I just decided I might as well just pick up two since I still have, excuse me, uh, the, uh, the post-it ones, the actual post-it ones. Um, I didn't need a lot. So yeah, so that's all that I got. All right. Um, I will probably have one more haul to post if I can find the stuff because I know that there is something else that I'm supposed to be filming and posting. So when I do, you will see the video. All right? All right. Bye.